Hello, people. I'm Javi Kuei, joined by Natasha Martinez. Hello. And Achar Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Salil Jamdar's Akat Main official lockdown video. This is from Salil Jamdar's YouTube channel. If y'all could be so kind, make sure to subscribe to his channel. He's at 916,000 subscribers. So if everybody watching this video subscribes to him right now, I'm sure he'll be at a million like that. The original video has about 792,000 views, so please give the original video a click and an upvote if you could be so kind, if you enjoy this uh, reaction. Depressed ho, mat rao. Karna chaati ho, wow. mat karo. Ye lockdown ek sunera mokha hai. Apne andar chaakne ka. Us khoye hoye passion ko phir se jagane ka. Apne aap ko phir se paane ka. Apne parivar walo se chudne ka. Unka khayal rakne ka.
human body, corona body, healthy body, human body. मतलब जैसे हम लोग के लिए corona deadly virus, same logic से धरती के लिए human लोग deadly virus, corona जिसका vaccine से ज़्यादा spoon feeding नहीं होगी मुझसे. I was thinking the same thing. तो time में सबसे dark और heat virus हम ही हैं. expected because going into it I was like okay this is a song about coronavirus and then oh that's interesting like making that jump between where the virus and, mm -hmm. and then it turns into a song about environmentalism and I said that weird. Environmentalism is that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah I said yeah. that right didn't I? Yes. So it turns into a song about environmentalism and then like, that's not what I expected at all, but the yeah. message is really great. I didn't expect that either. I thought it was just gonna be about making fun of being in the house and, you know, people like not taking it seriously, but then he got like really serious and I was like, yeah. oh, okay, I hear what you're saying. Well, he delivered the message in a very smart way where it was still had that kind of fun vibe still. He still had the comedy in there. It felt lighthearted even though he was delivering a very serious message. Yeah. It was a very Trojan horse kind of music video. Mm -hmm. Very smart yeah. in the way he delivered that information. The question I arrived at though is like, so what do you want me to do? Because there's a lot of people who take the path that they do like every day to get to work or whatever, you know, polluting, expanding their carbon footprint, but they don't know another way to go about things. And it's like, I do look for ways in my own life where I can minimize my carbon footprint. Right. But like, I have the luxury of being able to do that. I make YouTube videos, I work from home. Yeah. You know, I don't have to drive my car so much. I can I can afford a water filter thingy. Whereas a lot of people, they don't have the money to buy a water filter like that. You can boil the water, that's what I uh, used sure, to do. Yeah, you can boil the water too. No, that's family, true. Yeah. Like the little inconvenience to boil the water is helping the environment out Yeah, It's also lot. a necessity, because if you don't boil the tap water in countries like Thailand or India, you'll probably die. There are little solutions like that yeah. available at your disposal, so that's cool. It's worth considering. It's worth thinking about how you can minimize your carbon, especially for us Americans. It's like, it's yeah. worth thinking about how you can minimize your carbon footprint. Yeah. And the notion that we are the disease of Earth has been talked about for a long time. That's a very, very age-old discussion, at least since I feel like in the last 75 years, that's been talked about a lot. My dad is super big on the whole Gaia theory thing. Right. And, and this what is pretty Gaia much theory? supports that. It's like Earth takes care of herself. When stuff starts to go awry, then Mother Earth will just, you know, I see. wipe out whatever I, I, the problem I, I, is, but I, she'll you know, always survive. I think, yeah. I think that notion right there is often lost on people, and that is something we need to stop perpetuating, is this like protect Earth. It's like, no, we're not trying to protect Earth, we're trying to protect ourselves. Yeah. We're trying to protect humanity, and yeah. just like life in general. 
mm -hmm. because we're so worried about Earth. Earth will be fine. Earth will recover. It's not going anywhere for the next billion years, for several billion years, in fact. It's more about us being able to continue being here. Yeah. And like our children's children, children's children's children being able to like have an environment where yeah. they can like breathe fresh air. Yeah. Oh, you know? I think about that all the time. Like yeah. I'm like, if we, you know, I think it was, where is this clock? I think it's somewhere in New York where it's, it's almost like, midnight. It has like, like we've got like 71 years before there's like irreversible damage to the planet. It was like this wow. big clock. I don't know if it's in New York, it came out like last week and I was like, wow, like that's depressing. And no. I feel like people like don't take it seriously or think it's like not like a hoax or all those things. When it comes to like reducing carbon footprint, I always go to like animal products. Mm -hmm. I watched this one documentary, I'm forgetting what it's called, but basically talks about how the way in which Americans eat animal products like is just so so like so much that their feces basically like contributes to the ozone layer like opening cow, up. Cow farts as well. There's just like too much that within our diet, which is also making us sick already, mm -hmm. is like making the earth sick as well. Yeah. And so like after I watched that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and like go vegan for a few weeks. It didn't really work for me, but that doesn't mean that I can't reduce like yeah. what yeah. I'm already consuming. And I don't think that that's that hard. No. It's no. just we're so used to being like, now I love my meat or I love my cheese and I'm just going to eat what I want. Yeah. And really that's like such a selfish way of living. It's just moderation and just learning that tool, that skill set, that behavior or habit is just moderation, I think, at the end of the day. I think it's interesting as well, this being the second video that we've seen from Salil Jamdar. It seems like he has this very strong idea of like things being better before in India, like the traditional way of life being better, because he kind of seems to be attributing a lot of issues with the modernization of India, you know, like drinking from plastic bottles, whereas before mm. you used to just like boil your water and in the other video we watched this idea of like eating junk food and stuff because you know that's what people in more developed countries do and it's becoming more popular among the youth in India like you said Natasha yeah. like all that food is actually making us sick yeah whereas if you were just eating the good old like food that your mother made you that was homemade that mm -hmm. had like natural ingredients yeah in, you would be fine yeah you'd be healthy I went to Spain a few years ago and did like a little short study abroad there and went through this like program and our program like director was talking to me about how she came to America like for a vacation but didn't really like indulge in like food she kind of just ate how she normally would if she was in Spain and she gained like a lot of weight and then came back to Spain didn't like work out or change her diet lost it all like immediately and she was like there is something in your guys's food she was just astonished by the effects of the food here there's something there it's not that's not the best one to one i can see what she's saying that goes into the notion that we have a lot of preservatives and junk hormones. in our food hormones in our food but like i would love to see that test conducted on a thousand people mm -hmm. and see if the results are the same because i would be willing to bet part of her weight gain was maybe a lack of sleep because she's going through a time change mm. and so it's like when you don't sleep well your body puts on more pounds. She goes back home where she's comfortable again in her own bed, sleeping better, the weight falls off. Mm. Like there's all kinds of reasons. True. Like you can poke holes in like the Diet Coke thing because a lot of people in LA think that Diet Coke is killing people, right? But it's not, <laughs> it's just not. There are like some uh, studies where they go, oh, Diet Coke gives people uh, these ailments. Excuse me, it, they find aspartame. it- Aspartame. Not aspartame, so they think aspartame makes people heavier. Oh. It, it makes people fat because your body doesn't know how to process it. But then they find that the people who drink Diet Coke then put on more calories elsewhere because they think they saved on the calories the soda. Mm. So their habits aren't great to begin with. Yeah. And so there's always this weird correlation causation that people try to make, but correlation is not causation. So that's what I'm saying, like, sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, like, that's but, fine. But I mean, that, not to say that we don't put shit in our food, because it's entirely possible that we do. Like, I went to Canada twice, and people look different over there. And I'm like, what the hell? And I was told by the person that I was seeing out there, she's like, yeah, we take our food very seriously out here. And so people just look different than they do in the States on yeah. average. Yeah, I think, like, also, anytime I watch, like, an 80s movie or mm -hmm. 80s anything, yeah. like, the body types for both men and women were so much more slim, but you think about that, like fast food was like just, you know, kind of like coming out and becoming like more 
yeah. more of a thing. I feel like generally people were slimmer like back in the day. We also had to move more. There was something as simple as the remote control for your television didn't used to exist. The television didn't exist at a certain point. Yeah. But like you rode the bike to school. Yeah, you had to move. You just had to move Wolves. more often. Calor our cal caloric intake per day was different back then because we moved so much more than we do now. You can literally do everything from your phone now, so you don't have to go anywhere. You can order from your phone, mm -hmm. talk on your phone, watch and get entertained, maybe even work from your phone. Like you can, do, yeah. you can do everything. I agree with trying to figure out little things here and there, like the plastic bottles. I don't, I tend not to buy that anymore, unless Char wants me to. <laughs> Wait, wow. Wow. <laughs> but wow, Cam. He, wow, Cam. <laughs> I get the message here. I think the most important thing, though, is to communicate ideas of what each individual person can do, like little things that you can do as a person. Because sometimes I feel like people see this stuff and either one of two things happens. They get overwhelmed and they're like, fuck it. Yeah. Or they go, oh yeah, that was great. And then they don't do don't anything do with that information. Yeah. Like I think that you need little things that you can do on your yeah. own to help mitigate the amount of damage you're doing as a person on your planet. I think and then convincing the larger companies to take the, take the, that seriously. The steps, yeah. But you can only you 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 vote with your wallet at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, exactly. And the thing about it is, he's talking about you know people wanting to make money off of water. Wouldn't you? Like if you have a means to make money off of something, you're gonna do it. And mm -hmm. the only reason it continues to exist is because people, people continue to buy it. Buy it, yeah. And so you have to vote with your dollar. And like ideally, like a message like this has less than 800,000 views, and I don't think that's his average view count, is it? Yeah, I would imagine that on some level it's being stifled by YouTube's algorithm because he's talking about stuff that is more controversial. Like yeah. at the very beginning of the video, he used a word which we'll have to bleep out. Not him, but the female voice. Like there are certain things YouTube just doesn't want you to say. I like this video. I thought he did a great job. The music was, I mean, even just from a, a melodic standpoint, I thought it was good. Yeah, yeah. it was good. You know, I, it was a good song. So yeah. cool. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Again, make sure to subscribe to Salil Jamdar's YouTube channel and give the original video a click and an upvote if you could be so kind and uh, leave a comment telling him how much you enjoyed the video. Yeah. And then after that, head over to Natasha's Instagram and Achara's and, and follow <laughs> them on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon. All notifications, please. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Natasha Martinez and Achara Kerr. Peace out.